When I review Google Ads accounts, a common question that I do get is that all of my ads are approved, but I'm just not getting any impressions. Why is that happening? So in this quick video, I'm gonna take you through the exact reasons for why your Google Ads are approved, but you're not getting any impressions. And right from the start, let's jump into the quickest reason for why that could be happening. If you've got a brand new Google Ads account, or you've just set up a new campaign, it can take three days, and sometimes I've even seen cases of this taking four, five, even up to seven days where everything is approved. So your campaigns are approved, your budgets are approved, your ads are approved, but it can still take time until you start getting those impressions. So if that's you and you're watching this video, but you've just set up a new campaign, and especially if you've just set up a new campaign in a new Google Ads account, before you stress out any further, I do want you to wait seven days because it is highly likely that within those first seven days is that the issue will rectify itself and you'll start seeing those clicks and impressions for your Google Ads. But if that's not the case for you and this has been happening for a longer period of time, for over a week, I now wanna take you through the three top reasons for why you may be having the issue of where all of your Google Ads are approved, but you're just not getting those impressions. And the three reasons are, is that you have an error or a status warning for some of your keywords. The second one is that you have a limited budget, especially in relation to the average CPC for the keywords you're targeting. And the third reason is that you have set your bidding target. So your target ROAS or your target CPA incorrectly. So right now, what I'm gonna do in this video is we're gonna jump over to a screen share so I can show you how to review those three problems that you may be facing and also show you how to fix them. But before we get into that, just in case you're new here and we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young, I'm from Define Digital Academy and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And if you wanna see success with Google Ads in 2023, it's critical that you have a structured strategy for how you're gonna optimize your campaigns. So I wanna help you even further. And right now, I wanna give you access to my Google Ads Optimization Checklist, which is perfect for search campaigns. And I also wanna give you access to my Google Ads E-commerce Optimization Checklist, which is specifically designed for Performance Max and shopping campaigns. And these checklists are not only gonna let you know the exact optimization actions that you need to complete for all of your campaigns, but even better, it's gonna let you know how often you need to complete these optimizations. So whether you need to do that action every 72 hours, every week, every month, or every 90 days. And if you wanna access those checklists right now, all you need to do is to follow that link in the description below. But with all that said, let's now jump into a screen share so I can show you how to fix that issue of you not getting any impressions for your Google Ads campaigns. Let's go right now. Okay, so first to check your status warning, where you wanna go is you wanna go into your campaigns and then you wanna go into your keywords. And what you wanna be looking at is you wanna be looking at the status column in here. And you can see here that we've got a warning and that is that these keywords or our ads are limited because they've got a low quality score. Now, you also may have sometimes have policy issues or Google may have noticed some issues on your landing page. So what you need to do is when you go into the status column, if you see a red warning, just take your mouse or your cursor over that red warning and then it'll pop up. And what it'll do is it'll give you the option to go through and learn more about the relevant issue. So for this one, it's obviously because we've got a low quality score. So what we would do from there is that we know with a low quality score, the issue is that we need to increase the keyword targeting in our ad copy in the landing page. So we'd go through and do that. If this was a policy issue, we may have to update some of the wording on our website or we may have to update the, some of the text in our ad copy. So that's the first reason for why you may not be getting any impressions in your Google Ads account. Now, the second reason is, is if you've got a budget which is not set correctly for the average CPC. So you can see for this individual campaign, the average CPC is 325. Now, this isn't an issue for this account because they've got their budget set at $100 a day, but let's just say they only had their budget at $5 a day. That would be an issue for why they're not getting any impressions because ideally as a rule of thumb, what you want is you wanna be setting your Google Ads budget, your daily budget to amount where it's about, where you're gonna be getting at least 10 clicks a day. Now, ideally you want to get, be getting more than that. So if you had an average CPC of $3.25, you'd be wanting to make sure that your budget is at least at about $32, but I would go $35 a day. So if you don't have any average CPC data yet, what you can do is go into your tools, go up into planning and then keyword planner, and then just do a keyword research for your core keywords, see what the average CPC is. And if your budget is not set 10 times that average CP amount, that is going to be the core issue for why you're not getting any impressions. You want to always be 
be making sure that your budget is set correctly for your relative CPC. And if you're in a high CPC market, it may mean that you need a higher budget. All right, and now let's go over to the last reason. And that is because your target ROAS and your actual ROAS, or it could be your target CPA and your cost per conversion are set at the wrong level. So you can see with this one, we've got a target ROAS, which is at 900%, but the conversion value cost or the actual ROAS is around about 815%. And if we were to do a comparison here over the last 30 days, you can see here that because this target ROAS is set a lot higher than the conversion value cost, that we've seen a 45% drop off in impressions. So for this account, if I was managing it, what I would recommend is that I would recommend dropping that target ROAS down to around about 750 to 800. And the reason for that is you want to be about 20% behind your current conversion value cost or your current ROAS. And the same is true on in here. You can see once again, this target ROAS of 250 and the conversion value cost is at two. So once again, if I was taking on the management of this account, what I would recommend is that I would pull back those target ROAS goals so that we can then start to see further impressions and build out our conversion rate from there. So if you are in that situation right now of you're just not getting any impressions, even though your Google ads all approved, I want I want you to go through those items and go through and make sure that you don't have any issues in your current Google Ads campaign. Once again, thank you for joining me. My name is Aaron Young and I hope that you found this video really, really helpful. And if you have, I'd ask you if you can repay the love by not only giving this video a like, but also subscribe to my channel. And to help you even further, because if you're watching this video, it's very likely that you're really interested in learning more about Google Ads. And the most important thing to make sure that you get right in Google Ads is to make sure that you've got your campaigns set up correctly. So if you wanna make sure that you've got your campaigns set up correctly for using search campaigns, go through and watch this video here. Or if you wanna make sure that you've got your Performance Max campaign set up correctly, go through and watch this video right here. And the best news is, is that for both of these campaign setup videos, they take you through the step-by-step -step process and they're also used for the new Google Ads dashboard. Once again, thank you for joining me. See you very soon. Bye.